Hello, welcome to the Brattleboro Food Co-op channel. We're so glad that you're here. Thank you for tuning in. So today we have a really fun product, which is the natural egg dye kit. And these are made in Oregon and um, they're from a company that was founded by a friend of mine named Leah Fanning. So um, Leah is an oil painter and um, creates the most beautiful artwork. And when she had a son, Django, she wanted to have non-toxic options for herself to make art while she was pregnant with him, but also for him to use um, as he was growing up. So this is one of the things that she created. So with Easter eggs, a lot of times, you know, there are two ways to do it. You can hard boil the eggs and then dye them, or you can blow out all of the innards of the egg and then dye them and then you have them forever. Blowing out all the innards takes a lot of work and time and decorating eggs that you're going to eat with something that could be toxic is really problematic. So Leah made these kits, which are dyes made from purple carrot, spinach, turmeric, and beet. So it's really wonderful. This food product that you will consume is made only of food. So um, I highly recommend that you check out Leah's website for her art. It's so gorgeous. It's just leahfanningart.com. Um, or you can visit um, her website, which is um, Natural Earth Paint. Um, if you want to learn more about the many products that she has and many wonderful ideas that she has. Um, so um, Natural Earth Paint Company makes um, products for professional artists as well as um, for kids to use. And so they also sell pigments in bulk with um, like zero, like zero waste, um, basically. So I'm con I need to do some painting at my house and I'm actually considering using her pigments to paint my walls. Um, so I'm very excited and she has a recipe on her website on how to do that. So if you want to learn about all things non-toxic art, um, check out um, Leah's stuff. So I'll be right back. All right, so um, this is the first time I've used this kit. I'm really excited to try it. We'll do it all together. We have four packs of dye. And so green from the spinach, I'm just gonna put in one jar. I already spilled, so I'm really glad that I put a cookie sheet under here. <laughs> I recommend that. And natural blue dye. Oh, these are pretty. It smells a little bit. Hmm. I'm trying to remember what that one is. She doesn't say. I, that one smelled a little cabbagey to me. I think that's the cabbage. Purple dye. It's probably the beet. But um, there are a lot of videos of people kind of creating their own natural dyes and. Um, having mixed success. So it's kind of really nice that we uh, sorted this out for us. And here's the turmeric. So to each of these, we need to add half a cup of hot water and Leah specifies that it does not need to be boiling. Just hot is good enough. So um, I boiled, boiled eggs for this and I actually used the water that I boiled the eggs for, set that aside to be my hot water um, to do the dyeing. So we need a half cup for each one. Whoop. I'm just looking right at the jar. It has a little line that says four ounces. Oh, that color is so nice. So I'm gonna go ahead and drop an egg in, let it start doing its thing. She says five to, tw five to 20 minutes. Oh, I can really smell the spinach um, now that it's in hot water. Okay. These are medium sized eggs because um, they're a little cheaper. And the nice thing about that is that they're pretty much covered in the water. I'm just adding a little bit to make sure that they, each one is submerged. 
All right, so these have sat for five minutes. We only have this space that we're recording in for a brief period of time, so we're just soaking them the minimal amount of time that it recommends. And also, we're using brown eggs just because we're filming this much before Easter. We don't have any white eggs in our store. So I'm gonna show you what they look like coming out. So this is our orange egg, once was brown. Here's the comparison. Um, here is our red egg. Again, you could leave this much longer. Um, here is our pretty blue egg. And there's our green egg. That really took so nicely. So now we're gonna make these even cooler. They're already really cool, but let's just make them even a little funkier. I'm gonna take out all my spoons and I have some mini muffin tins. So I'm gonna put a little dye in each one. And so let's see, what would work? Maybe I'll do, I'm gonna do a red blue combo. Okay, let's see if I can get, this one was blue. Um, I'm gonna put the one that was red in, so it's gonna have like a little stripe, a little purple stripe on the bottom. Okay, little egg. And, oh, let's see, since the green took so well, how about I do an orange and green one? Red one with, that might be kind of similar. Clearly, I'm kind of thinking on my feet here. Red and blue. And then this one, maybe I'll do green and greener green. So I'll let the bottom take even more green in, but only the bottom. All right. So we can let those sit for five minutes or more, and then we can repeat this process and do the other end of the eggs. So then the eggs will be three-tone. Um, so that's the basic premise of this basic way to decorate eggs with this fun product. And we hope that you have a great time with your family this spring.